NBA season just around the corner. We're previewing each division for you. I'm Amber Wilson, and joining me is CBSSports.com's NBA writer, Tony Mejia. All right, Tony, let's start out in the Atlantic Division. Toronto was on top of that division last year. Jersey also made the playoffs. How do you see this division shaping up this year? Well, I mean, the way the other players see it is Toronto is still the favorite. And you got guys like Chris Bosh and Andrea Bargnani and TJ Ford that have played together now for a season and are only going to get better. They're only going to improve. A little bit of the pressure is off Sam Mitchell. Last year, he was almost facing a firing and uh, ended up being the NBA's coach of the year. So ideally, you, you have the two triumvirates with uh, New Jersey and Vince Carter, Jason Kidd, and Richard Jefferson in Boston now with their big three. Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett joining Paul Pierce, but uh, still you got to go through Toronto. I mean, they're defending champs. Triumvirate is a good word. Yeah, speaking of the big three in Boston, Boston's a team that was sitting on the bottom of that list that we showed you guys just a second ago, but they might be relevant again now with Garnett, Allen, and Pierce. Absolutely. I think the one key with them, you know, th th these are three Hall of Famers probably, and they already have great chemistry together. I think what you're going to see from them is you're going to post up Paul Pierce and they're going to post up Kevin Garnett, play off them, and you can't double team off of them because you're leaving Ray Allen wide open for shots. One of the keys with that team is to find a point guard and a center. Kendrick Perkins and Rajon Rondo are filling those spots right now um, that really don't end up uh, costing them games. And I think at this point, you know, both are young players under 25, but uh, they're going to be in good shape. All right, but what about the rest of this division? We haven't really talked about Philly and New York. How do you see them playing into this? Philadelphia is rebuilding, and, uh, you know, that's one of those basketball teams that uh, they, they traded away Allen Iverson and Chris Webber, you know, let Webber go within the span of a week. They all of a sudden started rebuilding. The Knicks are terrible. Um, you know, <laughs> New York is trying to mix and match pieces like Eddie Curry and Zach Randolph, you know, guys that you know aren't going to be able to, to work together defensively. You've got, you know, Stephon Marbury who lost his mind all summer. Uh, you know, it's a basketball team that uh, probably wins 35 games at, at the most. I don't know if the New York fans appreciate your honesty, but I do. It's always good to be blunt. All right, thanks for all of your insight into the Atlantic Division. Keep your mouths at CBSSports.com for all your other divisional previews. For Tony Mejia, I'm Amber Wilson.